What can we do with rubber? Hi, this is Wirmer, my name is David, and with this video, we start a short series of stories about rubber. Our journey starts with cutting. Not all types of rubber can be treated with a CO2 laser. Some of them will ignite or emit harmful fumes, no matter how you adjust the setting. Let's make a short list of types of rubbers that can be processed with a CO2 laser. Synthetic gray rubber is very good for cutting. It's homogeneous and does not dissolve. Natural rubber is used for tires for vehicles. Silicon, it is used for making hoses and molds. Foam rubber is also suitable and you can see this in sports maps. The CO2 laser does not work well with black styrene butadiene rubber. As we said, 90 watts of power is more than enough for 10 millimeters of rubber. But if you still need to cut thicker rubber, then you should use a most powerful laser, like 130 watts. And also take care of using a compressor at least 6-8 atmospheres. Then the cut will be perfect and without any fire. It is essential to have a very good, strong aspiration system when cutting. Rubber is a material that emits a strong and unpleasant smell and a lot of smoke when heated. Without it, you will feel the smell for days. Remember, when cutting rubber, sparks fly into the lens. This happens regardless of the thickness of the material or the pressure of the compressor. So, check its condition regularly. The 6090LT CO2 laser machine has a truncated nozzle, like all larger models, which makes it ideal for cutting materials due to the single-pointed airflow. The 90 watts tube will cut rubber up to 10 millimeters, which is more than enough for most of the application. This machine can also engrave, but more on that later. So, which models are suitable for rubber? The Watson 0503 and 6040 are most commonly purchased for the production of stamps. The Watson 6090 is ideal for small to medium batch production of rubber products such as gaskets, nozzles, rings. For high volume production, the 1290 Duos is perfect. It can do all the tasks we talked above, but faster, and also extends the range of industrial products, anti-slip covers, belts, and machine mats. Everything fits on a 1200 per 90 mm working area. Today, we've been talking about cutting rubber. In the next video, we will talk about engraving it. Do you have any question? Write it in the comments and our managers will answer you. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the next part. This is Virber, my name is David, see you in the next video.